Welcome back to our series, The 7 Closing Mistakes Presenters Make. This is your buddy here, Roberto Monaco with Influenceology. Now, if you missed the first six videos, you can find a link to them in the end of this video. Now, in this video, the last video actually in our series, video number seven, you're going to learn about the following mistake. Most presenters fail to talk about the negative aspects of their offer. So why is that important? Well, it is important because research shows that when you argue against your own point of view, when you point out some negative aspects in your offer, overall, your message becomes even more persuasive. Why? Because by applying the strategy, increases your own credibility as an influencer, as a presenter, as a communicator. In the legal field, they named this strategy stealing the thunder. Here's one of the studies, the facts of stealing thunder in criminal and civil trials by William Skiplin, published by the Law and Human Behavior Journal. Basically, here's the summary of the study. 1,257 college students read or heard one of three versions of a criminal assault trial in which a damaging piece of evidence about the defendant was absent, in this case, no thunder, brought up by the prosecutor, in this case, with thunder, or brought up by the defense attorney and repeated by the prosecutor, stolen thunder. So what's the conclusion of this and other very similar studies? Very simple. When the defense attorney brought in the damaging piece of evidence first, his overall case became even more persuasive. Remember, in this scenario, we had three options. Number one, nobody mentioned the negative piece of evidence, quote unquote, no thunder. It's almost like in a sales situation, your audience, they don't say anything about it. They are thinking about the objection or maybe the negative aspects of the product, but they don't mention anything, right? They don't talk about it. Number two option, they call the thunder, the prosecutor talks about the damaging piece of evidence first. In this case, you're talking and someone in your audience say something negatively about your product or about your idea, right? Or option three is stealing the thunder where you know already the potential negative aspects of your offer and you bring that up first and you reframe it. Super, super, super powerful strategy. That's what they call in the legal field stealing the thunder and you can use it in your business. Now you're thinking, Roberto, how can I use that? I'm not a lawyer. Well, you don't have to be a lawyer. Anybody can use this strategy. For example, if you're a mortgage broker and you talk to a prospective home buyer, once you get financing, maybe one of the negative aspects is the amount of paperwork. So how can you address that first and reframe it? For example, if you're a chiropractor, what is one of the potential negative aspects of your care or your offer? Well, could it be time commitment. So how can you reframe time commitment and actually make a positive, make something fun, right? So your patients are looking forward. Now, in my industry, for example, when I teach people how to use public speaking presentation to acquire more clients and make more money, one of the negative aspects of my offer is preparation time. Look. I don't care how much they learn and they know, and they can become an amazing, amazing communicators and influencers. They have to prepare. There's a prep time. And sometimes they're by themselves in a hotel preparing, going over the talk over and over and over and over again. I cannot prepare for them. I can give them preparation strategies, but ultimately they have to spend time by themselves in a hotel preparing. So how can I reframe that and say, hey, it's not like you're by yourself preparing. You're just discovering how powerful you are. You're not spending time in a hotel alone. You just tap into your purpose and get so excited because now you know how powerful you really are. See, I'm just addressing one quote unquote potential objections that may have or negative aspects of public speaking and reframing and telling really how the truth. I tell that, hey, when you're preparing by yourself in a hotel in front of a camera, you're just building up that muscle, right? So become a powerful, influential, persuasive communicator. I really believe that. So that's how you do it. You bring it up and you address it and you reframe it. Now, if you want to use public speaking, presentations, video marketing, influence webinars to make more money, help more people and have more fun, just go to www.influenceology.com. One more time, 
www.influenceology.com. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, what are you gonna do? Just subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. Our next series is going to be awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Come on. You haven't subscribed yet? How about embedding this video in your blog? How about that? How about liking or leaving a comment here? Come on, guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.